Well, they, saw, they had rising concerns. When our members get together in groups every month, they say, what are the black clouds that are coming up? China's been number one, Russia, uh, the new European trade issues, and the trillion-dollar deficit looms large. And with the trillion-dollar deficit, all the rest of these items lever into much bigger problems. Why do you think equity exposure in general is at its lowest in a decade? Do people think this is the end of the business cycle? Well, uh, markets have been priced to perfection. Uh, they're more volatile, but our members are entrepreneurs who built their money in the pri built their wealth in the private markets. So we still have even bigger exposures: 24 percent to private equity, 28 percent to real estate. In total, that about 20, 73, 74 percent. So that's a very healthy allocation to the long term. Just the public markets are probably a bit overpriced right now. So the moves that we that you saw at the end of the second quarter really were, were like a percentage point or two. Uh, up or down in the case of, of uh, equity investments. But that masks a longer-term trend? Yeah. Uh, private equity has grown over the last decade from 10 to 24 percent. That's the biggest shift in our history. Right. Another big shift. Uh, and public equity has public moved down from, from 25 to about 21 percent. Fixed income down from 15 to 9 over a decade. Uh, our members aren't buying that rates are rising. They still have low uh, fixed income exposure. Uh, and of course, real estate is king. Some of it is because of its income producing potential in industrial and workforce housing. We have a lot of expertise among our members that they learn from one another in the groups. Uh, but some members who have expertise see an empty building, and for them, that's an opportunity, not a disaster. What are they saying about bonds in general? Because even in the second quarter, I mean, we had a, a lot of bonds globally trading at negative yields. We already had the 10-year yield sinking, and this week, those moves have gotten pretty extreme. So just compare that to six months ago when people thought we were in a rising interest rate Absolutely. market. Uh, our members didn't buy it. They said there's not enough underlying strength. Implicitly, they weren't buying it. They didn't buy bonds, and uh, they've actually lowered their exposure. Wow. And yet real estate, they think, continues to be an area of focus. Now, is this one place that being kind of being able to do one-off deals is just a much better situation, or would they be buying things in the public markets like REITs? So there's many different industries you can express publicly or privately. In our members' case, because they've created their wealth in private real estate, that's where they allocate to. They do, do use uh, REITs and so forth. But when they can roll up their shirt sleeves, go visit a property, see what the income producing potential is, and learn from another member in a group what they're doing and what they like, uh, that gives our members a real edge in that area. Where do you meet? In some secret undisclosed location? Where, where, <laughs> so, where, so a national group? You have 700 members. I assume it is yeah. nationwide. Globally. We're now in five countries. Okay. Uh, we have 60 different groups that meet in 30 markets. When you join a group, you join one group of 12 to 15 people. You're welcome at any other group, but every month you spend a full day with the 12 to 15 members of your group. You spend a full day. Full day a 12 month. 12 to 15 members you, of, the, of the group. Do you yeah. trust people to self-report their wealth, or is there any, any policing of this to... Well, you have to qualify to be a member, uh, but every year each member does something called a portfolio defense, where they have an opportunity to defend their portfolio. They've never done it in any other forum like they're doing it here. And they have 12 people who are there with no agenda but to help each other. They're not selling each other anything. They're not buying anything from each other. And when you have 12 peers who can uh, help you understand your portfolio, you see things you can't see on How your own. How many of the 700 members respond to the survey that, that we're referencing here? <clears throat> so every group, at the end of the group, every member fills out a form that has a few key questions. So I would say 70 to 80% of our members, I don't have the exact number, but.